everyone, it's another day of vlogoween with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. Uh, we're cruising. A new day. We woke up this morning, 6 a.m., no big deal. I think it was 6.30 actually, to be exact. And you know, no big deal. Just Bailey pooping on the floor. You know, another glorious October day, except I, I will, I, I, I'm not gonna claim this day. It's supposed to be like 90 degrees again today. It's October 9th, people. 90 degrees? No. No one asked for this. Not one soul asked for this. Not even Mr. Skeleton, who has no soul, asked for this. <laughs> Maybe like, cool, where's your pumpkin cream cold brew? So, I'm, I don't think I'm getting it today, or we may wait till later, because Ghoul's been having celiac disease issues the last couple of days. Normally I cook from home, but because we had a bunch of stuff going on, moving stuff around, and then we had the shirt restock, and we were packaging up all this, these packages, and it was just the two of us. And, um, so we were up until I think 4 a.m. Each, each morning, and then I think we slept for a couple hours, got back up and did the whole thing all over again until we could get all the packages out because we wanted to get them out as fast as possible um, because it is October. We were planning to do this in freaking July um, and just nothing went according to plan. So that being said, I didn't really have time to cook. So we ordered food out and you know, you do the best you can when you have celiac disease to you know, make comments and say, you know, order things and pick restaurants and sometimes you just get glutened and it, you just feel pretty terrible so um i'm having a seven up this morning this is my breakfast until my stomach recovers from whatever is happening with it so um it, it shall recover don't worry anyway so uh today we're cruising we're going out to tj maxx right now we're gonna meet my mom out there um i thought what better way to you know cheer us up get us back on track you know feel the excitement of life again <laughs> by going to freaking tj maxx and looking at halloween decorations it's probably going to be christmas so i don't know why i'm doing this to myself but we're cruising we're going to tj maxx tj maxx TJ. i don't know why we're still looking at halloween decorations we need to be decorating jade get with the program you need to be decorating ghoul but you know what? I'm going home today and I'm filming a bunch of hauls that we need that I just need to get done. So we're just gonna do a smorgasbord of Halloween stuff. I think I mentioned this yesterday, but I'm not even, I have no shame in my Halloween smorgasbord game. And we're gonna just enjoy life. We're gonna enjoy our time, enjoy October. I'm not gonna stress about it anymore. It's already here, it's already happening. We're just gonna carry on. We're gonna enjoy life. Oh, sorry, dude, I'm in your lane. I was enjoying life a little too much over here. <laughs> it's like 9.20, by the way. We're gonna go to TJ Maxx. We're gonna be those people waiting at the door. Let us in, we're coming in, we're ready. <laughs> this is like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Where are we? We're almost to TJ Maxx, so I'll see you there. We're gonna go see if they have Halloween. I, should we make bets to see if they have Christmas there? Or should we not even say the C word right now? Is that is that not good? Like, should we not even? Salsa. Drive through salsa. Drive -through Thanks, salsa. mom. <laughs> That's the Thank last you. Part. Yum. The last fresh salsa of the season. Thank you, mom. I'm ready to go shopping with Sh my daughter. Well, there's Halloween and not Christmas. That's why. Look at the forecast for next week with the weather what is it 60s 70s oh yeah that's my weather my I'd say let's go get a cup of coffee at starbucks over at the grocery store but i already had coffee and my stomach is churning i know i'm not getting coffee today either because i think i got glutened uh-oh not today but like the last couple days i just haven't been feeling like coffee because my stomach's upset but i would say the same thing otherwise i would get have you had the pumpkin spice yet not yet. I haven't been there yet. Well, we can go over there. You want to go over there? If I have another cup of coffee, I might shit my brains out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll go a different day. We'll go a different day. I have a, I have a card in my wallet, but I don't know how much I have on it. We'll go on a fall... I mean, it's nice now, but... All right. Love All right. Love you, too. Right, All right. Okay, bye. I'm meeting my boyfriend. What do you need, sweetie? Here's your boyfriend. Your boyfriend's oh, here. here. Let me... Here, let me... Uh, here... Uh, Jim, pick up your FaceTime. 
There's my boyfriend. Hello, James. <laughs> yeah. We went up to TJ Maxx. Hey, Jim. She says hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, sweetie. Let me. Let me. Okay, love you. Me too. Thanks for shopping with me. All right, love you. Love you. So just left TJ Maxx. Saw, I mean, honestly, it was really slim pickings in there. Like, it's kind of wild because I think the big time for home goods was, oh, I don't even know if there was a big time this year. It was all kind of all over the place. But, um... They had, a, they had something still left. They had a little cake tray or cake stand thing that had a little gnome that lit up. They had um, a little chip and dip bowl, no, plate plus bowl with a pumpkin or jack-o-lantern where you, that's where you dip out of it. Wine glasses we've seen, some Radon wine glasses. They had some skeleton cups or like um, old fashioned cups. They had, or glasses is what they were, they were glasses. They had a couple of different mugs, mainly gnome stuff, and um, lots of gnome stuff still left. So hopefully they get the hint that we don't wanna see it next year. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Over in a little separate area, they had a couple little things, and I found some more of those wine glasses with the skull and the crow, my dream wine glasses. Um, found more of those. What else do we see there? Oh, we saw these uh, spooky Moscow mule cups or you know the copper mugs. They also had some really cute spooky dishware that I had not seen before. White plate, but the border of the plate had all of these little spooky houses and like a whole spooky landscape, branchy trees, whole situation around the border of the plate so cute they had the little ones and they had the big ones those were amazing i had not seen those yet but yeah so not a lot of halloween left the candles were really picked over um the season is coming to a close and we're over here just starting our halloween videos no big deal there's a dog there's a dog there's a dog so cute what kind of dog is that like a one of those ridgeback dogs I don't even know what you call those. Something Ridgeback? So we're cruising. We're gonna go to Home Goods really, really quickly. Uh, it's probably gonna be busy. I don't care. We're just cruising. Just left Home Goods. I'm actually at Natural Grocers. I had to run in and get some stuff for dinner. And I was gonna go to Ross, but then I just went down some portal of all these frozen gluten-free foods that I gotta show you when I get home. And I got these flax muffins. I've had these before. They're so good. They taste like brownies so good I need a bite and I also got a little coffee drink I figured it's cheaper than Starbucks I know I'm cheating on Starbucks forgive me mm. it's so good mm. Khalifa espresso cold brew tastes legit I keep forgetting this is vlogoween and not Halloween decor hunting because I would have taken you with me into natural grocers. I need to get used to this. I don't know how much my camera picked up because it because it froze. It was like frozen on like one minute and 58 seconds for a long time. Went to the other home goods. And the other home goods was a whole other story. It was basically all Christmas already. And I don't mean to say Christmas already because I do understand that it's gonna, you know, it's gonna start happening now because, you know, Halloween comes out early as well. I totally get all of that. My thing with it is it just doesn't change the fact that it's so depressing. Which will be out hunting for Gothamist decor eventually. But anyways, they had some Halloween there but it was pretty much all infiltrated by Christmas. Um, so they had a little area that had stacked jack-o'-lanterns. They had some candles. They, there were a couple Ray Dunn pieces I almost picked up. They had like a bowl that had these cute little ghosties around it and it said boo on it. That was so cute, one of those little microwavable steamer bowl things. Um, and then they also had this wooden spoon set that was really cute. They had, you know, the witches in the pretty dresses, lots of knickknacks, the Anna Lou, Anna Lee dolls. The, I mean, they had a lot of that kind of stuff, but they didn't have, I mean, they did have a couple of cute 
um, snow globes. I'm not going to lie. They had one that had a skull with like a crown on it. And then it had a snow globe thing going on. And they had one that had like a black cat in it, maybe. So just some cute little things here and there. Lots of little candles and little things. They had a cauldron candle that was kind of cute. That was an oil slick look. Um, and then back in the dishware area, they did have a peanuts or Charlie Brown, great pumpkin, whatever it is, Charlie Brown. Um, what do you call it? Cookie jar. They had a couple of things like that. Um, more gnome mugs and stuff like that, but nothing that really stood out to me or that was really that exciting. And I think I'm officially done with Home Goods and TJ Maxx because I cannot take the heartbreak of what just happened there with Christmas. Like, and you know, even like, I was like, oh, maybe I like some of the emerald green color stuff. And I'm like, no, you're just telling yourself that now. And plus, I'm going to be so freaking broke by the time it's Christmas anyways. Maybe we should, I, I, maybe we should do a video where we recycle Halloween decorations to make them Christmas because we're all broke. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm just speaking for myself. I don't know if anyone else is, but uh. anyways, now we're taking a slight detour. We're going to Mr. Skeleton's homeland, CVS. That's where he's from. We're going into CVS, Mr. Skeleton's homeland, and hopefully they have some Halloween. We haven't seen anything here yet, but we're going to go in and look. Right, Mr. Skeleton? Then we're probably going to have another muffin. Here we go. All right, I can't stop eating these freaking brownie things. These brownie muffins. These flaxseed whatever the heck they are. I'm putting them in my purse. I just left CVS. Mr. Skeleton's Homeland. Let me tell you, not one Halloween decoration. Not one. I don't know if they're just not doing Halloween decorations this year or what happened. There wasn't anything. Like, nothing at all. Normally, they at least have some skeletons or, you know, some, like, you know, pumpkin carving, knickknack things, you know, like sets or whatever, or, you know, like little plastic bowls or little plastic pumpkin buckets. They had nothing, not one Halloween decoration in that place. It didn't even look like they had tags or areas set up to even do it. You know what I mean? So it wasn't like it was wiped out and there was once Halloween there and now there's nothing. It was literally, oh my gosh, the fall trees, y'all. I, I don't even know what to do with like uh, how to process this in my brain. They didn't have Halloween decorations, but they did have Reese's pumpkins and you know, Reese's stuff on sale. So you know, we had to get Dallas some. We did get some stuff. They had some Halloween makeup stuff there. I'll show you when I get home. We'll do a little grocery haul and um, a little CVS haul. So you can see what I got. Um, but overall today, it's Christmas, y'all. I think that was our final Halloween decor hunting day. We don't need any more anyways. No, uh, nope, 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 we're done. So anyways, I'll see you guys at home. We'll do a little haul. I wanted to show you guys a haul, like a little grocery haul slash a mailbox haul. So I went into Natural Grocers to get stuff for making kale and white bean soup. Hopefully tonight, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure yet. But I got this kale there. This is what I went there for, the kale celery and what else oh i think i got an onion just a yellow onion in here vegetarian better than bouillon uh, no chicken base this is so good tastes just like chicken broth but it's not chicken these udis classic french dinner rolls so we could dip these in our soup and a lemon and that's what i went to natural grocers for but then i saw other things this is what always happens to me got uh, these vegan marshmallows. They're called dandies. Figured maybe we could try some vegan uh, Rice Krispie treats. Some spooky vegan Rice Krispie treats. We'll see what we can do. Also saw these. I didn't need any of this, but I got so excited about them. I'm like, I need to try these. This, if you're gluten-free, this, this brand, Feel Good Foods, is so good they get so creative with their gluten-free stuff this is the three cheese mac and cheese bites these are not vegan but they are vegetarian mac and cheese bites i haven't been able to have something like this since i was 
probably 20 years old and even then they didn't have a lot of this kind of stuff also these are my favorite and they sold something similar to this at aldi this year and it was super inexpensive and i'm so sad that they discontinued or i think they were like a limited edition seasonal food but these are my favorite these feel good foods once again gluten-free vegetable pot stickers these are so freaking good also got some raw cashews I want to go ahead and get a head start for, um, and maybe I want to make some lasagna, my lasagna roll-ups. If you've seen that video, if not, I'll link it in the description box. Um, but I might want to make some lasagna roll-ups, or I also want to prepare for my pumpkin pies, my vegan pumpkin pies for Thanksgiving. I know, I'm not going to talk about that. This is Vlogoween. All right. Also got some Tofuti sour cream, my favorite, stocked up. I got two of these. And uh, some cheddar style slices, Daya, the dairy free cheddar style slices. I know I got dairy free and dairy, but I just really wanted to try these. I try to not eat dairy as much as possible. So here we are. So I figured we could do grilled cheese and tomato soup. And if you know the tomato soup, a target song, then you know. Got these uh, Daya mozzarella style shreds. So I gotta go put these in the freezer and we shall return. So from TJ Maxx, I got these two glasses to add to my one that I got the other day. It's got the skull and the crow in there. I love these so much, so excited about these. Also, here are those Moscow Mule mugs I was talking about. Oh my God, these are so perfect. They're just that perfect amount of spooky, subtle, like a sophisticated goth. We also got this. We're just gonna look at this dog with a witch hat on, oh my gosh. Um, but this smells so good. Okay, this is the Sand and Fog brand. Pumpkin Patch is the scent. Uh, by the way, did I ever show my nails uh, that I got done? How cute are these? She killed it. No pun intended this time. Look at Mr. Skeleton. Uh, okay, Pumpkin Patch. Let me smell. Mmm. This smells so good. Perfect amount of cinnamon and spicy, pumpkin-y. This smells so good. Also found this long sleeve top. This was on sale, by the way, for $12. It's from the brand Thread and Supply, but it's this really, really, really soft sweatshirt with these moons and stars all over it. It's not quite a sweatshirt and it's not quite a long sleeve top. It's a little bit softer for a long sleeve top and a little bit thinner for a sweatshirt. It's like that perfect soft in between. Right next, I can't believe my mom and I found this. This is a selenite tower. They just had this there in the little decoration section, a whole selenite tower. And this was $10 for this really, really good sized selenite tower. I ordered some stuff from the Halloween Threshold line from Target. Look at this box, first of all, and it was plates. I ordered plates. I was like, there's no way plates are in one piece in this box. Look at this thing. <laughs> I'm like, it reminds me of Ace Ventura when he squashes the box in the elevator. This is exactly what it looks like. I was like, there's no way these plates made it. They are totally broken, but no. Somehow they arrived in one piece. I don't know how it happened. These are so cute i was so sad i missed out on these but i was able to get some and i took a risk having them shipped but they all arrived i love these bat plates these are so cute i'm so excited for these i also got some lashes while i was at cvs it was kind of like it looked like a halloween collection but now that i'm looking at it it doesn't look like halloween at all but it was like in kind of a spooky area with black gale polish and stuff so i don't know but these look amazing i also got this cover girl Ultimate, ultimate, I get it, ultimate. <laughs> uh, ultimate liquid lipstick in Vino You Didn't. Uh, all the puns on this lipstick. Uh, it's this purplish. I feel like this is a color I used to love from CoverGirl. And it's a dupe for Lime Crimes Fetish, which was one of my favorite shades from uh, Lime Crimes Velveteen Liquid Lipsticks. And they discontinued it. And this was the closest thing I could find, I think. But it wasn't called Vino You Didn't. It was called something else, but this exact color. Let me swatch it. Creamier than the Velveteens, but it's this beautiful purplish 
I don't even know how to describe this. It's perfect for fall, perfect for all year round, but I had to get this. Also, ColourPop sent over some PR that I figured I might as well include while we're here because this was in my mailbox. Uh, so while we're talking about running errands and mail and all that kind of stuff, I figured I would show it. Uh, this video is not sponsored or anything by ColourPop. This is a PR box, though, that was sent to me. Uh, but I got uh, some Party Proof Eye Primer. There are three different shades. I think it's like deep translucent and caramel and this play it jewel palette and this i don't know if it's their holiday palette or what but it is beautiful all these jewel tones but also really pretty transition shades some uh, the really good balance of matte in uh, shimmery metallic -y kind of shades i'm excited to play in this so i figured i would show it just in case you were looking for a holiday palette or I don't know, this has a lot of options in it. Lots of colors to play around in. Also got some stuff in the mail from Trick or Treat Studios, which I'm so excited about. Got this Trick or Treat, like Sam's Lollipop Trick or Treat purse. It has a little cutout, uh, but it's just clear. So it's like the lollipop with the bite out of it. So cute. They have a couple different ones on their site. Also got this Halloween face mask. It has the face, like the mouth and nose from Halloween. By the way, I have all this linked in the description box for you if you're looking for it. Also got this candy corn jack-o'-lantern pail. The handle is this rope. Also from Trick or Treat Studios, I got this Halloween Curse of Michael Myers jack-o'-lantern replica. I can't remember which one it is that I have, but I have another one of these and I love these jack-o'-lanterns. They're so detailed. They're so amazing. Love these. It has a little light inside. Also got a couple of Halloween soaps. I want to open these, but I'm not ready to use them quite yet. So I'm going to wait. Uh, but it's just the Halloween kind of poster or cover for Halloween. And the Sheet Ghost. Also from Trick or Treat Studios, got this Halloween 2 collectible magnet. So detailed. So amazing. Really excited about this. I feel like this would be a good one, by the way. This is an all year round decoration for me um, but if you don't get it for halloween for yourself for halloween decor this would be and like even the soaps and all the little stuff would be the perfect holiday gift uh, i might need to put this on the list for gifts for the strange and unusual this year i decided to put it right here next to neen's sunbathing <laughs> also from trick-or-treat studios little wall decal wall decor cut out things i don't know i'll show you all of them but i got the trick or treat one these are so pretty looking i don't even know if i want to open them yet but i got the trick or treat one the other ones it comes with it comes with the vampire mask the sam the jack-o-lantern on fire and and the girl with the lollipop in her mouth. Well, these are so cool. They could be wall decor. So they have little holes where you can put them on the wall or you could frame these. I don't know what I want to do with them yet. I kind of want to frame these. Next, I got the Halloween ones, little wall decor cutout things. You get the uh, Halloween jack-o'-lantern, the house with, there's Michael Myers standing in the window. If you know, you know. Michael Myers coming out of the jack-o'-lantern and Michael Myers couple different Michael Myers. All right, next one, this is They Live. Um, Dallas and I were just watching this the other day. Uh, we love this movie. This one has the glasses, you know, when you put on the glasses and then you see all the people who are actually these creature, alien creature things. It's definitely one to watch if you haven't seen it. All right, then this one is Toxic Tunes, which this one's so cute. It has so many cute little uh, designs has this witch, which you know I'm loving this witch. Look at that beautiful nose on that witch. Uh, the trick or treat smell my feet with the two headed Frankenstein situation. All of these different spooky cutouts. Uh, these are all really cool designs. Also got the creep show one. Could not resist a good old creep show. Love these designs. These are so detailed and amazing. Really excited about these. Thank you so much Trick or Treat Studios for sending these over. I'm so excited about all of my Halloween goodies. I will link everything in the description box for you from Trick or Treat Studios if you're wanting to check them out um, because all the stuff is amazing. Come on, it's October 10th. Coming to you from my hair. <laughs> Just hair, no human. So we're looking for food. It's time for dinner. Is that hail? It's currently thunderstorming out and the temperature was like 90 degrees today. It just dropped to 62 degrees. A cold front is coming through.
I was gonna say for the thunder. It's like one of those really good thunderstorms with like the rolling thunder. <laughs> oh, I love it. Anyways, it's day two though of feeling like total balls. I did end up peeling myself out of bed today and putting on makeup and filming, but it took everything in me. Anyways, um, it's a little bit, it's at least better than yesterday. So that's a plus. We're gonna make some soup. <laughs> totally off topic, but on topic. Um, I'm gonna make some white bean and kale soup. Um, last night, all I had, I had broth, vegetable broth and noodles. That was it. Had that for lunch too. My stomach still hated it. So I'm like, if it's going to hate me anyways, I'm at least going to eat something good. Um, so I'm going to make some white bean and kale soup. This is my favorite recipe. I got it off Pinterest. I'll put it in the description box. It's so good. I think I've made it before. Have I made it here before? Anyways, what am I looking for? Uh, I don't know if I'm, if I'm, I'm, just, I'm hungry. I want a snack. But like, okay, so here's the thing about, ce if you have uh, celiac disease or even, I feel like lactose intolerance might be like this too. When you don't feel good, like after you eat, or if you have IBS, this might be this, th this might be this way for you as well. Um, you don't want to eat because you know you're just going to feel bad. So you're starving, you're so hungry, but you don't want to eat because you just like, you know, it's just like, you're just not going to feel good. And you don't want to feel bad again. <laughs> and that's exactly, it's the weirdest not to, once again, be the most depressing freaking vlog of all time that you hear. But it's so true. I'm setting you on a bunch of Reese's peanut butter cups, by the way. Um, but it's so true. I don't even have, I think I just need to chop up an onion. Hey, do I have my onion garlic? We're going to put on some onion goggles to protect us from the onion fumes. These don't work at all. I'm just trying to lessen the blow. Got my, gotta put my Oakley blades on. <laughs> oh God. It maybe lessens it ever so slightly, but it does not work. I'm crying right now. I'm so excited because tomorrow, I'm still not decorated by the way, but I'm thinking tomorrow is gonna be the perfect day. It's gonna be 69 degrees is the high. Perfect day to decorate the mantle. I'm so excited. I'm like, maybe it was all in the cards this whole time. So I feel less guilty about not even being fully decorated yet. Plus we're always spooky around here. So we'll leave it up for a while. All right, now we got to cut up the celery and fresh vegetables sound so freaking good right now. Like all I want to do. Mm. My eyeballs are on fire. I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done. I'm just chopping vegetables. There's not much happening here. This is one of those easy recipes that like you can kind of just, you can also do it in an instant pot. I, I feel like I've done it in an instant pot before, but I don't know. Tonight I'm just throwing it in a good old pot. I feel like we should be watching something like Hocus Pocus or something. All right, I have my pot going over medium heat and I'm gonna put some olive oil in there. Like, I don't remember how much it said, but I just put like, Two tablespoons, a tablespoon, something like that. I'm gonna let the oil heat up a little bit. Maybe that's more oil than I was needing, but whatever. It's good enough. We're gonna heat up this oil and then we're gonna put in, we have this. Has our carrots, celery, and onions in it. On this bowl, we're gonna put it in to here. Stir this up until this is all softened up. I'm just gonna cook it up. All right, they're looking like they're getting softer. In go the beans, all these beans. Gonna stir it in. Four cups of vegetable, vegetable, vegetable broth. I'm just gonna dump it in. Stir it up, and we're gonna let this boil. All right, it says once boiling. Oh, I'm gonna move that off there. Once boiling to put half of it in a blender and blend it, but I don't got time for that. I'm not getting out my blender. So I just use an immersion blender instead of an actual blender blender. It's the same thing in my eyes. And you wanna blend, I'm gonna eyeball half of it. You wanna blend half of it. So you don't wanna go too crazy to where it's just a puree. <laughs> what it does is it makes the soup creamy, but then it still has some chunks in there. So you don't want to over blend it because you do not want it to be pureed, but you want it to be enough to where it's nice and creamy. So I barely did it. And there's still some beans in there and still some veggies in there. 
But yeah, it's also really creamy. Those extra white beans just make it super creamy. All right, we're gonna put in the kale and then bring it back to a boil. So there goes the kale. And I just kinda tore up the kale. I just tear it off the stem and into small pieces. And then we're gonna stir it in. Let it boil until it turns bright green. That's my favorite to do. Uh-oh, there's a little rib in that one, but that's all right. I totally forgot about the rolls. Throw them in the oven really quick. The Udi's gluten-free classic French dinner rolls. Here's what we got. I gotta get spoons out, but we got our soup going. We got our biscuit bread baguettes that are a little fried to death, but that's all right. They'll survive and we'll survive and I'm starving. All right, I'm starving. I totally forgot to do my little taste test. A little pepper in there. I just got so hungry, I almost forgot to taste it. Kale, some beans, some veggies. It's steaming. Mm. Mm. This is one of my favorite recipes ever. I put a little bit more lemon juice over the top and it was so, oh, good choice. Mm. I'm just sitting here eating without Dallas. <laughs> Dinner. Mm. We got a full blown thunderstorm going on out there today. It's dark. Hey everyone, I'm looking a hot mess this morning. Look at this there. <laughs> but I'm back. I'm back. Hallelujah. <laughs> the dead has arisen. You know you're feeling better when it's 6 a.m. First of all, it's storming out. So normally I'm like in bed in this kind of weather, but I'm alive today. I'm feeling 5,000 times better. Not wearing a bra yet. We have, we like literally just rolled out of bed. I'm so excited. I, as soon as I woke up and I felt better, I I just had to get up. I'm so excited. I hope you guys, I hope you guys are having a good day. It's the 11th of October. We're finally with it, finally feeling better. It's seriously like I just woke up from the dead is what it really feels like. For breakfast, I think we're gonna have one of those flax muffins, but first, we're gonna make some coffee. All right, we're gonna make ourselves one of these things. This is Khalifa pumpkin spice latte almond milk. No, pumpkin spice latte cold brew, yeah. But I add a couple shots of espresso because you know I'm living on the edge. What are we going with today, guys? The skulls? The Libra mug, my husband likes these mugs. These are too small for me. I love this guy, this little jack-o'-lantern mug. This little one's my favorite. <laughs> what a weird I love him. Um, we could just go with this guy. Should we go with this guy? I like him. This was sent to me by somebody in the spooky family, so I feel like it's perfect on the day we feel alive. I really wanna make some pumpkin, what do I like? Pumpkin snickerdoodle muffins for breakfast one morning. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Just not this morning, because I need to edit. I'm gonna spend pretty much all morning editing. Hopefully get a video out today. Mm, I just wanna drink it out of this. I'm an adult. <laughs> Truly the best thing about being an adult is just doing whatever the hell you want. <laughs> Why am I like this? This is my normal self in the morning. I f it feels good to be back. Okay. Here we go. What are we doing? So I got up early enough that I might be able to just, I need to catch up on the book, Spooky Book Club book that we read like three months ago. <laughs> I don't know what happened with that. I'm gonna put this away. All right, cheers everyone. What's this? Sticker. I didn't see that there. <laughs> right, I wanna show you guys my filming outfit of the day today. <laughs> this full on Beetlejuice suit that I'm now gonna keep in my closet as an everyday suit. But I wanted to show you guys before I change cause I'm gonna spend the rest of the day editing. Just got done filming my Spirit Halloween costume haul. And um, this makes my arms look so long cause the vertical stripes. 
feel like I'm an actual sandworm. Woo! <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this tree. We could just go outside and look at it, but why would we do that? <laughs> For one, it is Vlogoween. I almost say Vlogmas every time. Vlogoween day 21, I think. Day 21, 10 days. No, that's not right. 10 days? Oh Lord, 10 days until Halloween and we're not even fully decorated yet, whatever. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get too worked up about it so so I've really just been filming and editing for the last several days and haven't even done vlogoween I've been failing miserably and I didn't even film on my birthday or anything like that but my birthday I was a really nice like the weather was beautiful felt like fall like today it's 48 degrees out there right now it's actually chilly but it's sunny oh my gosh this is the perfect day no no wind or anything just still I like mid 60s and cloudy kind of weather but if i can't have that weather i'll take high 40s low 50s with sun because then it kind of feels the same but my birthday was very much that kind of day we didn't end up doing much of anything i think i ended up editing a video posting it and then we spent the rest of the day hanging out and I think we went to bed at like 8 p.m. We were so tired, um, kind of just catching up on sleep. So it was honestly the perfect birthday, exactly what I was wanting uh, just to relax and go to bed early and all that kind of stuff. So it was a really, really nice birthday. I also watched Halloween Kills, not on my birthday. I think it was the day after my birthday we watched Halloween Kills. Either way, watched it. I loved it personally. Even though the storyline wasn't really anything to remember, I don't really remember it at all. I just remember the kills were awesome, so I'm not mad at it. It's Halloween kills, you gotta have the kills. Anyways, I'm back today and I don't have, like I've got a lot of little things to do today. Some cover photos to edit and um, some descriptions to do and some things like that. Just little things, so I'm hoping by the end of the day today, I can actually decorate either my kitchen or my dining room. If we decorate the kitchen, we'll probably do it as part of Vlogoween, um, just because doing a whole separate video for just this small space, I don't know if I'm gonna do that this year. Did I show you guys my nails? Did I show you yet? Have I filmed yet? I got these Halloween 3 inspired nails. I showed them on the Facebook group, but these are, I mean, this isn't even a sticker. My nail tech painted these. Okay, look at the detail on these. Hand painted. I mean, this is just, if you've seen Halloween 3 or even if you saw Halloween Kills, uh, these are, I'm so excited. I've never been so excited about nails in my whole life. I mean, I love all my spooky nails, but these, my nail tech outdid herself. These are so good. I'm so freaking excited about these nails. Anyways, where do, I got lost. Once again, my train of thought, where was I? Well, let's find our way back, circle back, Jade. Oh. Last night I posted the first day of Vlogoween and I wanted to say thank you so much for all the words of encouragement, all the support, all the positivity in the comments. And also some of you spooky family out there saying you've never commented before, um, but you wanted to say something or you're, you're also feeling the same way about Halloween or you also lost your business or lost your job, that kind of thing. It's always a relief to get it off your chest to kind of like be able to tell you guys kind of what's going on. And then on top of that, finding people, finding a community to relate to is, it's just so freeing. It feels so good. And I feel like we can just, uh, we're, we're all going through it. It's all right. I feel like there's like a sense of missing out. Like we're gonna miss out on Halloween or something, like a FOMO Halloween version. Um, and I felt like that since like, you know, when we did halfway to Halloween mantle and I had that weird nightmare that we missed out on Halloween. And, um, also I had this dream the other night. Okay. I don't know why Halloween decor hunting is infiltrating my dreams, but okay, let me take a little seat. So I had this nightmare the other night that I somehow got into home goods 
well before opening. Like, I don't know, I, I think it was raining outside or something. Like there was a really bad storm and I was waiting outside so they let me in early. <laughs> and they had this, it's like this time of year, like right now. And they had fully stocked Halloween. Like they were like, oh, we were so behind on shipments that we just got a, if you hear a lawnmower, it's because my neighbor literally like a stone's throw away is like right there and they're mowing. Anyways, okay. So I had this dream that they're like, oh, well our shipping was all behind. So we got our fully stocked Halloween just now on this day that you came in <laughs> at 8 a.m. and we happened to let you in early. So I go into the store early and I get to scope out everything, like see everything in the store. And the whole store was filled with Halloween. <laughs> anyway, so I go wandering around and I see these really cool plates and like, all this stuff like all these plates have this like really cool scenery on it and i see all this gothic really amazing stuff and i'm walking through but i don't pick up anything because i'm like i'm gonna do one full walk through and then i'm gonna go in and then i'm gonna go through and grab what i want yeah home goods i was doing this so after i'm done looking at everything i circle back around to the dishware because they had all these dishes and all these like the silverware and like all this really cool stuff and all of these people had rushed into the store and took everything off the shelves there was not one halloween thing left in the store after i had just looked at everything and somehow didn't pick up one thing which i know better this is home goods i know better i know you have to grab it when you see it but somehow in my mind, I was like, oh, it's closed. No one's going to grab anything. And by the time I'd walked around the whole store, it had opened and everyone had come in <laughs> and snatched everything up and ran out. And there was nothing left. Not one thing. <laughs> I thought that was a really funny story that I'd tell you. Um, but now I'm way off topic because why I was getting on camera is I just got, I just got a package in the mail. I at least have my mantle done. But I will say my mantle really did inspire me to want to get the other stuff done. Okay, so it was, uh, I got something in the mail. My doorbell rang. And what time is it, by the way? Oh, 11.20 and Ghoul's just like still in her jammies. No big deal. <laughs> oh, I watched. <laughs> I have this guilty pleasure. I think I've talked about this show before. I've been watching this Halloween baking championship, which I'm obsessed with every year. I've talked about it before. So I watched some of that and now, uh, and, and then my doorbell rang and I got some candles from Bath of Body Works and we're gonna hope they're all in one piece. Um, they had a buy to get to sale or something like that. And some of you are gonna be really mad at some of the stuff I got, but I just, it's awesome, you know, you gotta get your buy to get to. So um, first of all, I, I haven't unboxed all of them, but I'll show you what I opened so far. I got this, oh wait, where's my, I got this pumpkin bonfire scent. And this one, I missed out on it when it first, uh, like the first fall candle launch or sale because this one always sells out because it smells so good. But they had it, mm, pumpkin bonfire. It kind of smells like the marshmallow fireside, but not. All right, also got another one of my favorites, the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. This is probably my favorite candle of all time at Bath and Body Works. And I got this Thanksgiving slash fall, more more Thanksgiving looking, uh, uh, jar art. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Um, because I wanted something, you know, Thanksgiving is coming up. I don't know, I like that this had black in it. It's got black and gold. So I figured I could have this one out over on my stove, you know, kind of thing during Thanksgiving time. Um, also got this one and I didn't, I don't know if, if I've ever smelled this one and I'm regretting it because I don't think I like this. This is the chestnut and clove scent and it kind of smells like perfume. I mean, it's not the worst, but it doesn't smell like fall to me. It smells like this metal thing is in the way. It kind of smells like a gerbil cage is what it smells like. Oh, this is the one my friend told me to get. Banana walnut muffin. And this one does smell really, really good. It is really, really sweet. It smells like their cupcakey kind of, uh, their cupcakey kind of scents or their cake kind of scents. So it is really sweet, but I, I don't mind the sweet scents around Thanksgiving or into the winter time. So I'm not mad at it. She did say that when it burns, it really does smell like fresh baked banana bread. So I'm not mad at that. I, oh, I got another pumpkin bonfire. Thankfully, I was just thinking that when I smelled it, I was like, I hope I got two of these. And I... mm. Mm. 
Oh, I got another sweet cinnamon. Oh, we got two sweet cinnamon pumpkins and two pumpkin bonfires. That's right. Okay. There's um, wax everywhere. Then I got two more that I have to show you that you're you're probably going to be mad about because it's Vlogoween. We're not supposed to be talking about Christmas on here, but it was buy to get to and I have a bunch of fall candles. And so I wanted a couple of winter slash holiday candles. I really like to burn the pumpkin ones all year round, but I do get a couple of holiday ones for the actual month of December. So I figured I might as well, it's buy to get to, might as well get a couple. So I got this spiced gingerbread one with a super cute holiday packaging, but it's also orange and looks, you know, still on brand for Halloween. This one smells really good. It's a really good balance of sweet and spicy. Then also got this one, Tis the Season. This is one of my favorite scents uh, for the winter time. Tis the Season, it has this really cute, I know, it's Christmas, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, but it's kind of a cute packaging. It's got Santa on his sleigh with a bunch of reindeer I, and it's red and gold. So I'm not that mad at the packaging. Really, I just love it because it really smells like cinnamon. Although I feel like this one really has heavy apple. I don't remember it having that really heavy apple smell. I thought it was more spicy. Let me go smell this. Okay, I'm thinking of the wrong one. I'm thinking of holiday. That's the scent I like. Tis the season. This one's very apple-y. But holiday is the one I like. Dang it. I knew it was something like that. Tis the season, holiday, whatever. They're all the same. So anyways, we're going to put all this stuff in recycling. And then Neens is upstairs crying. She was taking a nap. She had, she has really bad allergies. So I gave her an allergy pill and she was kind of conked out. And now she's up there begging for cuddles. She wants me to crawl in bed with her, which you know I will. I just need to finish a couple of things. And then um, I was going to finish editing a couple days of Vlogween as well. But I really want to finish decorating. So we'll see. We got lots to do today. But we're in good spirits today. Um, you guys really helped with that by just being so relatable and reminding me that we're all in this together. So thank you so much once again. We're going to make some of that Thai, the coconut red curry uh, soup that I've made before. It's so good. It's like one of my favorite recipes. It's not my recipe, but it's one of my favorites to make. All right. I'm going to go take this stuff out and then I'll see you guys a bit later. We're back. <laughs> same, same look, same vibe. I'm preparing this meal. This is, when did this expire? Some of these look kind of bad. Not until the 23rd. These are supposed to still be good. Um, we're making this red curry soup thing that I found uh, on Tasty. If you have the Tasty app. I made this before. I can't remember if it was on um, Vlogmas or Vlogoween once upon a time. I can't remember when I made it, but I've made this before and it is every time. It is so good. It's not my recipe, so I, I haven't had it on the spooky kitchen or anything, um, but we've made it during vlog time. Um, but yeah, we're just in our cozy clothes today and we did a bunch of editing and um, I'm gonna be posting a video tonight after I eat. It's 7.44, so it's getting a little bit late. Um, and then, uh, what are we doing? I think Dallas and I are going to try to watch you. We've been watching you if you've been watching that show. Um, we're on the new season and we're pretty much obsessed with it. So I'm currently breaking up some of this broccoli because it's already in florets, but I like the, I like them in smaller pieces. Garlic, minced garlic. Wait, where's the minced garlic and ginger paste. And I realized I'm almost out of red curry paste, so this is gonna be fun. Calls for two tablespoons, but I just put a bunch in. I already put some in. It doesn't call for a lot of red curry paste, and I feel like you need more. One can of coconut milk, the unsweetened, full fat uh, coconut milk. 
Okay, I don't know why my video froze, but here we go. We've got mercury in retrograde and we've got veggies in the pot. So I put the broccoli and the peppers in here and I'm gonna let them cook up for a couple of minutes. I don't even know how many because my app won't open, but here we are. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna add the noodles. It says on the recipe to add the noodles first, but I never do that because the noodles absorb a lot of the liquid. So you'll have more, you have less of a soup. All right, we're getting closer. I'm gonna dump the tofu in, uh-oh. And you gotta watch those noodles because they, they go from not cooked at all to overcooked in 2.5 seconds. So that's my tip on that. All right, here's my soup. So I'm gonna put some lime on top of it. That's what I like doing. Put some lime. Hey babe, time for dinner. I have a whole little setup over here. Um, I also put some jalapenos. I like it without the seeds in it because it gets a little spicy for me. And then cilantro. Mm, my mouth is watering. This kitchen looks heavy. I know, it's a Valentine's blanket. I know, I'm sorry. Your scary blankets are, I know it's warm though, isn't it? It is. It's so toasty in there, huh? Let's do a little bit of this. So we're not wearing a hat. Should I put on a hat? I feel naked. All right, hold on. Stay in your warm blanket, sis. Everyone, it is November. It is the most depressing day of the year, but Vlogoween is not over. Um, I have part one and part two, but I wanted to split up some spooky family mail because initially I wanted to unbox some spooky family mail uh, on my birthday. I thought it'd be fun, uh, but that day, that whole day just flew by. This whole month flew by, and some of the packages I just got last week, so I figured, you know what, we'll do this November 1st since it's such a depressing day normally. I figure we do some spooky family mail and cheer us up. And I feel like even if you're into like, I'm, I, I can get down on some holiday cheer, some Christmas stuff. But um, the beginning of November, no matter what, is always a little depressing. It's hard for me to switch over right away. I don't know if anyone else is like that. So anyways, I'm gonna be doing part one and part two of spooky family mail. So we're gonna jump into it. Start with some cards. I don't know what this is. Um, some, this is a cute little card. First of all, it has this little, Halloween, this little witch flying on a broom. Cute little card says, have a happy Halloween on the front with a jack-o'-lantern. Cute little sticker. Look at the sticker. This is already making me so happy right now. Ah, I'm just like, I'm transported back to Halloween yesterday. <laughs> May your Halloween be spooky and full of delightful frights. Love, Jesse. Happy Halloween. Thank you so much, Jesse, for my Halloween card. I love it so much. I don't know, maybe this will be a little, We'll start doing this as a little tradition, just uh, unboxing Halloween stuff the day after, like a post-Halloween celebration or something. So next up, another card, super cute stickers, a little spider and spider web situation. You know I'm into it. So this is the card here. Wishing you a happy Halloween with a delightful night full of fun. Hope it's simply spooktacular. And look at these cute little stickers in there. Uh, it says Jade, hey ghoul, hey, hey ghoul, hey. Love your channel. If there's a day that's dark, you and Mr. Skeleton are always there. Thank you. Enjoy Halloween. Have a happy birthday. Leanne the Aquarius. Thank you, Leanne the Aquarius. Fellow air sign, you know. Thank you so much for your sweet note and the card. So thoughtful and all the little cute stickers on my card. Love it. Okay, next up we have, look at this. Just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100% that witch. This little Hocus Pocus sticker. Love it, you know, you know, you know, you know. Ooh, the spooky house card, I love this. Okay, it says happy Halloween, look at this card. How amazing is that spooky house? Should we all move in? And it has the everything. It has the witch flying on a broom, a ghost, Mr. Skeleton is in the window, if you can see him in the window. Dracula, AKA Dallas, is up in the window. From one spirited house to another. Dear Jade, witching you, I see what you did there. Witching you a very haunted Halloween. Thank you for everything you do. I'm a huge fan. Have a happy Halloween, Alyssa. Thank you so much, Alyssa. This card is perfect. Here's another card and then we'll do a, a box. Okay. Oh, this is super cute and vintage looking. Love this. Happy Halloween. Look at this vintage looking card. Little vintage looking jack-o'-lanterns and black cats. Super cute. 
Oh, cute. Love these stickers. Wishing you a Halloween filled with good old fashioned fun. I love this card. Hope you love the vintage style card. I do. It's the first thing I saw. Thank you for everything you do. Yours, yours cruelly, Courtney. I love that you guys are putting in all the puns in these cards. It's my favorite. Look at these super cute Halloween stickers. This is more of a spoopy type of sticker. And then this is Mr. Skeleton dancing all over the place. Thank you so much, Courtney. Happy Halloween. It's still Halloween to me. I need to go get some scissors and open these or a knife or something. All right, so we're gonna open a box and yes, I'm using a steak knife, judge me. Still haven't gotten a box cutter. Don't worry, I'm watching memes and making sure she's not too close. Okay, starting with this box. Ooh, it looks like a spooky mug. Cute card so far. We got a card. Says trick or treat on it. Has a cute little jack o' lantern and ghosty situation. And it says, Hope your Halloween is splendidly spooky. And it has a little note in here. It says, Hey, ghoul, hey, my friends call me Haunter. I love that. And I recently found your YouTube at the beginning of August. A new spooky family member. I'm all excited. So I'm so excited you found us here and fell in love with your content fairly quickly. I love Halloween and also a big fan of Baja Blast. The Bahama Mama. Anywho, I went to my local home goods down here in Wichita, Kansas. You're not far from me. Um, looking for the purple mermaid statue and mermaid wicked sign for my grotto. I came upon an item that instantly made me think of you. Uh, and also added a little extra something with it as well. If you like sirens and or mermaids, I have an Instagram and YouTube channel you can check out. Hoping to upload a lot of Halloween stuff this year, including some spooky swims in my tails. Ooh, I'm Minnesota mermaid on both platforms. Hope you have a spectacular rest of the year. Blessed be Haunter. I'm so excited for this. This is so perfect. It's a pumpkin with all these mystical, magical, sparkly star things. And it says Hallow Queen on it, which I love this. And inside. So, 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 I'm so excited. A $15 gift card to Taco Bell, y'all. I'm gonna have to dump my Baja Blast in here. If you just saw something fly by, it was a fly. Beetlejuice has been trolling me. Anyways, Halloween mug and Taco Bell gift card. This is the ultimate combo. Thank you so, so much, Haunter. Um, I hope you had the most magical Halloween. This is honestly making my whole day, um, seeing Halloween things. I'll link Haunter's Instagram and YouTube in the description for you. Okay, what's this? Oh, I need scissors for this one. Hold on, BRB. I'm collecting sharp objects over here. All right. Okay, we have the cutest card on the planet with all of these 3D looking stickers on it and they're all spooky and witchy and uh, half, oh my gosh. The whole placement of these stickers is an actual art, by the way. I love this. Look how this was done. I'm so impressed and excited about this. It's like a teacher, like a great teacher card, but it was filled in to be spooky. I'm so into this. A great ghoul teacher can make you feel good about Halloween, uh, about who you are in a costume, and inspire you to become all you can be this spooky season. I love this so much. So thankful for great teachers like you, Ghoul. It's from Andy, by the way. Uh, hey, Ghoul, hey. Just wanted to say thank you for inspiring me, making me happy, and reminding me of the person I really am. I had lost myself a few years ago and with discovering your channel a year ago, you helped me find myself again. Thank you for teaching us, inspiring us with your art and hard work. I appreciate it. As a thank you gift, I got this for you to keep the magic in every single one of us. Sending you and your loved ones safety, happiness, love, and spooky warm wishes. Andy. I was all excited about those stickers on the card and Andy came through for your ghoul and got me some of these stickers. The green and black aesthetic, it's like that light, Minty green, I'm so excited about these. And these dark witchy ones as well. Also this cute little fireplace. It's a little mantle 
which you know is my favorite. I feel like I need to leave this out all year round or have it, I don't know, on my desk in my office or something. Just as a reminder of our spooky mantle. Thank you so much, Andy. This means so much. I'm so, so happy that you're feeling yourself and that you found the spooky family and you're in a good place. So thank you so much, Andy. I'm so excited for you. I hope you had an amazing Halloween. I'm gonna open another card. This is so cute. Look at the back of this. This card is so cute. It has pumpkins with a little spider web. And then when you open it, ooh, what's this tea? Let's do the fall confetti. Woo! Leaves all around. Dean's is sleeping through it. Wishing you happy memories and fun surprises to brighten your Halloween. Dear Jade, I love, first of all, is this your handwriting? I love your handwriting. Remy, love your handwriting. Wishing you happy memories and fun surprises to brighten your Halloween. Dear Jade, I love your videos. I'm glad to know that other people love Halloween as much as I do. I'm also part of your Facebook group. Have an awesome Halloween. Stay safe and spooky. Best, Remy. Thank you so much, Remy. I'm so excited you found me here and are part of the Facebook group. Orange and cinnamon spice tea. That sounds right up my alley. I bet it smells like my favorite, that uh, orange clove scent. And it's Twinnings. Never had this one, but I'm always looking to try new teas and I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Remy, for the card and the tea and the confetti. We had a whole party over here. All right. We're gonna have a Halloween candy break. Now we're drooling. Carol from Portland, it's from you. I see you, ghoul. Jade and Dallas. We got a card. It says, boo, know who's really special? You, happy Halloween, love Carol. More goodies, I hope the almonds are truly gluten-free. Thank you for thinking of us. Oh, Dallas got goodies. He's gonna be all excited because Target was out of Reese's. When I went yesterday, they were completely out. The ghosts and the pumpkins and the bats. Also, my favorite, you know I love these. Thank you so much, Carol. Wait, vanilla and cherry. It's the flavored Tootsie Rolls in the two best flavors of all time, the cherry and the vanilla. And then, <laughs> Carol, come on, you gotta did yourself. Okay, blue diamond almonds. I do believe these are gluten-free, by the way. Blue diamond, I believe is. Um, bold, spicy dill pickle almonds. I'm gonna try one of these. Okay, we're gonna see how this goes. Spicy, uh-oh, spicy dill pickle. Oh man, they really are spicy, oh. but really good. Oh man, oh, these are so good. I can't stop, I can't stop. Let me take these from him. Oh my gosh, oh wow. Those are so good. I gotta have one of these vanilla Tootsie Rolls because they're my favorite. And I love, of course, cherry everything, but vanilla is the odd, like it's the weirdest taste and it's so good. Mm. 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 Thank you so much, Carol from Portland. Hope you had an amazing Halloween. Thank you for my goodies. They're delicious. I can't wait one more of these because like the vanilla, I had sweet and now I need salty again, you know? Mm. 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 Oh my gosh, these are so good. Spicy dill pickle almonds. Who would have thought? This next box is from Feather and Flame Co. Ooh, it's a whole spooky collection of candles. Happy Halloween. Wishing you magical laughter and fun. Hope your Halloween's a wonderful one. Hey, ghoul, hey. My name is Angie. Hey, Angie, hey. And a longtime subscriber follower. Thank you, Angie. Thank you so much for your support. I have a little Etsy shop where I sell vegan, clean, and eco-friendly soy wax candles. My absolute favorite thing to do when I'm making my candles is to pop your YouTube channel on, spend some time with you and Mr. Skeleton and the pups. Every year I do a limited edition spooky collection of candles as a way of saying thank you for not only keeping me company as I toil away making candles, but for bringing, first of all, your handwriting's really nice. Let me just say that, I love it. It's like magical and like flowy, I love it. Uh, but for bringing a little spooky into all of our lives year round. Wanted to send along my full spooky collection to your Halloween home. Thank you so much, it's so generous. I hope you enjoy them, and I'm wishing you and all your crew a spectacular Halloween season, Angie. All right, so I'm really late opening this, but 
I don't know if you still have your collection up, but if you do, you do. And if you don't, then I, I think we all look for candles all year round. So I'll send the spooky family your way. I'll put Angie's Etsy shop down in the description box for you. Um, but this is the Halloween spooky collection. I'm all excited to smell these. Oh, and the packaging on this. This is an all year round dark aesthetic situation. I was not ready for it. This is Witch's Broom. Look at this aesthetic of this candle. This is such an amazing piece to have out all year round. Just a really simple black packaging. Love this. Classic, spooky, dark. Love everything about it. Ooh, wait a minute. What was Witch's Broom? Cinnamon Bark. That's where you got me, Angie. Cinnamon Bark. Oh, this is like a real good spicy one. Like this is my favorite kind of candle. Next up is Vampire Bite. Once again, really pretty black packaging. This one smells very, it's got more of that musky kind of scent or like, you know, a little bit more of that kind of cologne more type scent, which I love. And my husband definitely loves this on his side of the sink in the bathroom. I love this scent. This is really good too. This is Haunted Carnival. Oh man. This is like one of those caramel apple. That's exactly what apple, caramel, vanilla. It smells like a caramel apple, but fresh, like a true apple smell. It doesn't smell like the artificial headache smell. It's more of that kind of fresh, almost like a Granny Smith smelling rather than a really overly sweet, over the top smell. It's very like bright. That's what I'm thinking of. It's got more of that bright scent to it. Love this type of apple scent. This is Haunted Carnival. Okay, Trick or Treat is the last one. Ooh, I've never smelled anything quite like this. It's got that sweet honey, chocolate orange, bubble gum, and cinnamon. Somehow all of this works together. I don't know what kind of trickery you're doing over there, Angie, but this smells amazing. You get that bubble gum in there, but it's not. This is probably one of the most unique scents I've ever smelled in my whole life. In like the best way possible. It's really nice and balanced. Like the bubble gum isn't overpowering, not too sweet. It's really nice. I love this. Uh, this is the trick or treat scent. Uh, definitely check out Angie's Etsy shop. I'll have it down in the description box for you. Um, if you're looking for some really nice candles to support small business, especially during the holiday season, definitely check out Angie's Feather and Flame Co. I uh, love these candles. Those are some of the better and really unique, like, Sometimes you end up just smelling a lot of the same kind of scents you're, you know, you smell, you know, out there, but these are really unique. So congratulations, Angie. Hope you had an amazing Halloween. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sending these over. I am so excited about them. Can't wait to burn them. Next up, we have this really cute packaging. We've got spooky Halloween lemon situation. I'm all into it. Love the combo. Okay. Oh my God. Ever just fell out of this? I got all excited about <laughs> Okay, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. I know there's a card, okay. Jade the Libra, and there's a cute little mummy. Uh, so this is, Dear Jade, I love watching your content on YouTube. It's made me become one with my inner spooky self. I also even have a Mr. Skeleton in my car now. I'm so excited for you and your new Mr. Skeleton. Uh, his name is Dug Up. <gasps> I love it. Dug Up. Get it? Get it? I, I love it. I love it so much. Your puns are getting me today. I don't know. Okay, all of a sudden I became Flemmy the Flamingo. Don't know what just happened, but here we are. Hope you enjoy the scrunchie to match your new vans and the key fob for your keys. I'm a small business on Insta and I hope you can check it out. Love, Olivia. It says, P.S. Always keep posting spooky videos and check out my post in your Facebook group. Olivia, I've seen your post on the Facebook group, I feel like, because I remember seeing this key fob and loving it. Um, and I'll put Olivia's shop down in the description box or um, Instagram down in the description box for you. Uh, this scrunchie, first of all, is the first thing I saw fall out of this package. And I'm all excited about it because I got the Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger vans from the Horror Vans collection, if you saw it this year. Um, and it's this Freddy scrunchie. It has Freddy and then has the hat and what else is on here? Elm Street sign. This is such a cool scrunchie. I freaked out when it fell out of the package. I was all excited. Also this really cool spooky key fob. It's got a little wrist strap and it's got this spooky 
print all over it. Thank you so much, Olivia. I love my little gifts. Thank you so much. And definitely check out Olivia's Instagram. I'll have it in the description. Next up we have, oh, I love all of this. Dear Jade the Libra, I've been a viewer of yours for over a year, but only recently found out you have a PO box. I enjoy sending letters and stationery to YouTubers I watch. I think it's a way to show my appreciation for what you do. Uh, and it also is a way to support the postal service to ensure it stays running. I also hope this doesn't come off as weird in any way. Not at all. Maybe weird as in like spooky, but not weird in like a, like I don't think anything negative about it kind of thing. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, here are some facts about me in case you're curious about the type of person that watches your channel. Absolutely. I always love getting to know Spooky Family. Currently a PhD student studying biology. Awesome. Congratulations. That's a lot of school and really hard. So, wow, that's amazing. I have a Yorkie and a cat. Their names are Candy and Silver. I also love Halloween. Because I like Halloween but have a limited budget, I usually buy Halloween stationery because it's cheap. But after a few years of collecting, I have way too much stuff. I know the feeling. So I hope you enjoy the goodies I've included with this letter. I also uh, have a question for you. What's your favorite Halloween theme? Ghosts, witches, pumpkins, vampires, or skeletons? Uh-oh. Decisions, decisions. My favorite is to decorate with pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, enjoy the stickers, etc. Sincerely, Brianna. Thank you so much, Brianna. This is so thoughtful. My favorite theme? Oh no, I don't know. Really, as long as it's dark, I love it. So if even if it's a jack-o'-lantern or a classic Halloween look, I love it with a dark twist. Wait, this stationery is so cute. Look at these. I want a wallpaper like this, by the way. Also, this really pretty happy Halloween. Spooky house, Mr. Skeleton in the window. Also cute stickers. All these little felt stickers are so cute. So. Thank you so much, Brianna. I'm so excited about all my new spooky stationery and stickers. I love it so much. So thank you so much, Brianna. I really appreciate it. Hope you had an amazing Halloween and got to enjoy it a little bit, even though I know you're in school. So um, I'm sure that takes up a lot of time. So I really, really appreciate you taking the time to send that over. Next up, or should we open another card really quick? Um, I, oh, this is so pretty. Look at this card. Uh, classy, uh, spooky chic is what I'm gonna call it. Uh, pastel goth. Happy Halloween, stay safe and spooky from Laura P. And this is the cutest little, what are these? Are these little drawings that you did in here? These, I thought they were maybe stickers, but they look like little spooky drawings. And I love this whole sticker situation on the front, this pastel goth look. Thank you so much, Laura, for this cute spooky card or spoopy card. Hope you had an amazing Halloween. Moving on to this spooky package. Oh my gosh, all the details in this spooky package. All the spooky things keep coming at me and I can't just not look. All right, this card, first of all, everything is all amazing. The craftiness and all of the things in this, I'm, I'm loving all of it. Oh my gosh, Mr. Skeleton, we got freaking bats, we've got witch hats. Oh, Jade the Libra, hey ghoul, hey, hey ghoul, hey. I love watching your YouTube videos. They make me so happy during these strange times. Uh, also inspired me to stay in the spooky spirit all year. Wanted to send you something that I make. Resin coffin trinket tray. <sighs> Skull brooch that glows in the dark. Bat enamel pin, skull necklace, bat sticker, and other goodies. I hope you like everything. My Etsy shop is Corpse Love. Have other spooky and witchy things. I also have become addicted to Baja Blast now. I, I'm telling you, it's on another level. I'm craving one right now. Thank you for your videos. Have a wonderful Halloween. Love, Michelle. Thank you so much, Michelle. Um, okay, first, let's start. Should we start with the coffin? First of all, look at this packaging and this cute little skull charm situation. By the way, I have Michelle's Etsy shop down in the description box. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it does not disappoint. Look at this coffin tray with this lacy spider web on the inside. So excited, thank you so much, Michelle. Also, look at this cute little bag with a little jack-o'-lantern on it. What is this, an eraser? Oh, these are so cute. Oh my gosh, okay, this jack-o'-lantern eraser and this tombstone eraser enamel pin with a bat with its wings wrapped around itself. So cute, oh my gosh, so cute, okay. And this necklace, really pretty skeleton cameo necklace. This is beautiful. Did I get this? Oh, this is the glow in the dark pin. I almost missed it. 
this skull mr skeleton glow in the dark pin i'm so excited about these thank you so much michelle i really really appreciate it i hope you had the happiest of halloweens next up we'll open another card it's got a dog stamp on it so i already love it jack-o-lantern love it sending a smile to you on halloween so cute love this and feeling extra grateful for the smiles you bring every day oh thank you uh jade i just wanted to tell you that all your videos bring me so much joy it's because of you that i finally bought my own mr skeleton congratulations on your mr skeleton i get so i'm so excited i'm so excited that you guys are getting your mr skeletons it's smaller than yours but he joins me while i go hunting for halloween things hope you and the family are doing well love megan uh, P.S. I am now addicted to Baja Blast. Can I just say, I love it so much that we all have so much in common. We're all cruising around with skeletons in our cars, drinking the Baja Blast. I love it so much. I love my card. Thank you so much, Megan. And congratulations on your new Mr. Skeleton and Baja Blast obsession. Okay, here's another card we'll open. This is from, I feel like, have I seen this name before? I remember some of you sending me cards before oh wow look at this gorgeous witchy situation witches by Dimitri Lauden what Marilyn hey ghoul happy birthday sending you something to have fun with have a very spooky birthday Marilyn this is so generous thank you so much uh, Marilyn sent a hundred dollar visa gift card this is incredible. Uh, thank you so much, Marilyn. Wow, I feel like, have, have you sent something before? I feel like I've seen your name and your handwriting before. Um, thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for such a generous birthday gift. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Wow, I hope you had an amazing Halloween and I hope you have an incredible holiday season. Um, thank you, Marilyn. Wow, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll definitely get some spooky goodies with this. Maybe I need to stop by and see if there's some Halloween clearance out there after all. Wow, I was not ready for that. Okay, okay I think there's something in here I don't wanna damage, so I'm gonna cut very thinly on this next one. Okay, wait, is there a card in here? Wait, here it is, here it is, here it is. I found it, I found it, I found it. This is Hey Ghoul Hey. Hope you like the designs. Feel free to check out my other designs and social media. P.S. Love your videos. Thank you so much. Let's see what's in this. There wasn't a name, but I'll put the shop down in the description. Oh my gosh, this shirt. It's this black t-shirt, which you know I love, and it has an embroidered coffee cup that says Witch's Brew on it. I love this. This is another one, a black t-shirt with this moon with freaking bats flying in front of it. I'm all into that and the embroidery is really beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, I'll have your shop linked in the description box if you're wanting a spooky embroidered t-shirt. So we may have to push some of these to another, to the second day because I feel like this is getting a little long and this video is almost an hour long already. Um, so we'll just have the rest for tomorrow, but there was one more I wanted to open. Uh, this one is from Freddie and John. Freddie and John, I know you. I love getting to know everybody, by the way, in the comments. It's one of my favorite things. And I don't know, it wouldn't be a spooky family if we didn't hang out, you know what I mean? Freddie and John, I see in the comments. Sorry about, I'm like holding the knife. I'm like, Freddie and John. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, you guys always are so positive and supportive and I feel like you are the cutest freaking couple, by the way. I don't even know what you, like, I've never seen pictures of you, I don't think, or anything, but I just, in my mind, the way you, like, the way you describe, like, watching YouTube and hanging out together and spooky things that you do around spooky season, it always just, I, I, it's so heartwarming and amazing and I'm always like, oh my gosh, this is the cutest couple ever. So, Freddie and John, I'm so excited. You sent this huge box, by the way. I'm so excited to open this and see what's inside. Thank you so much for sending this my way. Okay, oh my gosh. This is the most perfect package ever. It's got like tool and spooky things galore. Got two cards here. I feel so spoiled. A spooky house card. Happy Halloween and it's got that spooky house, the one I want to live in with Dallas in the top, me flying on a broom. Oh wait, there's John and Freddie. Hey ghoul, hey. We saw this card and couldn't resist getting it for you. Hello, witch on a broom, you know. Good old Mr. Skeleton. A little spooky situations. It really is a spooky situation. Uh, short story shorter. <laughs> what you know is not in my vocabulary. 
on our first trip to Aldi's, Freddie, you went to Aldi? What'd you think? Wait, I, I need to read further, right? Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Freddie eked in the aisle, but the only one who eked back was John. <laughs> Have a happy Halloween, Jade. Enjoy all the spooktivities and all its situations. Two NY goblins, Freddie and John. This is so, I, let me just say my whole battery freaking died right when I was talking. So I don't know how much it got. <laughs> so I don't know what happened or where I got to, but um, I think hopefully it covered this card, a Halloween card and a birthday card. I don't deserve you guys. Where did you find this card? This ghost carrying a spooky birthday cake and a full moon, the whole, oh, and the branchy trees. Hey, ghoul, hey, happy booth day, Jade. Hope your booth day is, is filled with spooks and haunts. Good spooks only. We started watching you in July, 2020, and you quickly became our favorite YouTuber. You've inspired us both with so many things like layering Halloween decor. We've stepped up our game. I'm so excited for you. We learned to fold jeans properly. <laughs> this makes me laugh so hard. Okay, maybe you can teach Dallas to fold jeans properly now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kind of. Okay. Anyways, we followed your lead on decluttering and organizing our hot mess. LOL. You quickly became our favorite because of how genuine and down to earth you are. It's weird, but we feel like we know you, but we don't, if that makes sense. But I get, I get what you're saying. I don't know you, but I feel like I do. There's something different with our community here, or maybe I'm just feeling that way because I get all sentimental about it. But I just feel like we, like we just vibe or we just like know each other. I don't know. There's something to it, but I, I get it. Okay. Also your projects with Dallas have also re-inspired us to revisit our plans from years ago when we used to work on our own projects together. So thank you for the inspiration. That makes me so happy. There's nothing better than w either working on something together or creating together. I really love that, that you guys are bonding over that. I love that. It makes me so excited, oh God. We also love your love for Neens and Bailey. We don't have pets. We've been wanting pets for the 3,000 years we have been together. If we lived in Kansas, we'd totally babysit them, LOL. They are too cute and I'd take you up on that. Yeah, you'll get pets one day, I have a good feeling. I feel like uh, you'll find each other kind of thing is how I feel about pets. Have a spectacular birthday wishing you much love laughs luck and success oh and we totally love your ho7s shirts we are planning to take them to wear during our anniversary trip to orlando for halloween horror nights at universal florida coincidentally we leave on 10 16 long story longer lol i love that this is there's a long story there's a short story shorter and a long story longer in this whole situation um lol we wanted to send you some halloween goodies for your birthday and halloween of course we hope you dallas means and bailey enjoy them um, we've never sent any YouTuber anything ever, but you always brighten our day with your videos and your spooky sayings. Keep being the spooky cool ghoul you are. P.S. Wrote in cursive. You know. Say hi to good old Mr. Skeleton. I will, where is he? I know he's in the car. That's where he's at. I'll tell him when, when I'm on my way to my mom's today. I gotta go let her dog out. Two goblins from New York, Freddie and John. Happy anniversary, first of all, Freddie and John. I hope you had an amazing anniversary. And, um... Halloween Horror Nights. Let me know how that went. Did you have fun? Was it scary? Was it good? Thank you so much, Freddie and John, for this sweet note. I just feel like you're such good people. Like, I just get such a good vibe from you guys. Maybe I should just open this and stop jabbing my jaws because I'm seeing all the spooky stuff and I'm getting all excited. Look at this package. Spider web wrapping paper and good old Jack Skellington on the front. All right, who wrapped this and put together this whole aesthetic? Uh, this is... Fancy. You really didn't have to do this, you guys. But I'm not mad at it either. <laughs> okay, wait, what's this? What's this? Wait, what is this? Is this from Killstar? You did not outdo yourself, did you? You outdid yourself. You got Killstar? I feel like I can't. <laughs> Freddie and John, I've been wanting this cup and saucer set. I'm so excited. It's this Killstar cup and saucer set. It's so cute. Okay, first of all, look at the saucer. It has this really, I don't know if the glare is too much. Oh, wait, there we go. It's got some bats and moon, like crescent moon design. It's all gothic and perfect. And then the little cup has this bat wing. Hopefully you can see that, the bat wing little 
area that you hold on to, you know? And then it has the bat on the lip part. You know I gotta get a picture on Instagram with this because I'm so obsessed with this. I'm so excited. I'm wanting this. Thank you so much. This box is a whole aesthetic. Let me just... The inside of the box. I don't want anything to fall out, but can you see it? It's a whole aesthetic, the whole inside. It's like black and white stripe or black and white um, spider webs. Like, ugh. what's this? What's this? What's this? What? This is seriously, I feel like I'm gonna cry. You guys. This is seriously literally tearing up, but I don't wanna cry my eyelashes off. I gotta keep it together, people. These scarves. For Bailey and Neens, which are actually pretty, what, what's inside? Or is this, this does not light up, does it? I think I got it, I think I got it. I bet you guys were like, I wonder if she's gonna figure it out. If you, if you thought that, let me know. Okay, these are perfect for all year round spooky dogs like mine. It's these little scarves, dog scarves. And it has Neen's and Bailey's names embroidered. And let me just tuck in this little guy. Um, embroidered on it with these little jack -laters. This is seriously the cutest thing I've ever seen. They're gonna be little matching spooky puppos. Oh, you wanna put on your little outfit? Look, look at this, this is so cute. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Look at how cute she looks in her little... Mm. You laying it? Oh, that's cozy, isn't it? It's nice and cozy. Yeah. Oh, she loves it. Oh, yeah, it's nice and cozy in there. Okay. I'll turn off the lights so you can take a little nap. Oh, wait. You can also... Different flashing lights. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I love these so much, they're so perfect. Also got, oh, I see candy corn. My favorite, Brock's candy corn. Can't get enough Brock's. And what's this? Maggie Lion Chocolatiers Autumn Mix. Ooh, I'm excited to try this one. This Autumn Mix. Okay, cute, another cute spooky sticker. What's this? Killstar again. You guys didn't have to do this. Uh, write your own story. This is a pin. I don't know if I've seen this on their website, but I'm all excited about it. It's a broom pin. Hey Dallas, what? come look at this. It's this broom, it's this broom pin, and it's just a pin in the shape of a broom. Wait until you see this, Dallas. Okay, turn it on, sis, for dad. Oh, that's cool. I know, it's from Freddie and John. Oh, it's an each? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I know. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? It's embroidered on there. Bailey has one, too. That's cool. <laughs> Look at her in it. Mm -hmm. You it's love awesome. it? You got your scarf on? Look at you, bud. You look handsome. You got your diaper on. And you got your scarf on. Next. She's feeling herself in that little outfit. Magic crystal ball. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so fun fact, my batteries officially died. So I went ahead and ran over to my mom's and took care of her dog for a little bit, let my batteries charge, and then came back home. I left these presents sitting here and did not touch them. So we are returning to a box of spooky magical gifts from from freddie and john and we left off at this magic crystal ball let me turn this on we'll see how it works will halloween come quickly next year what my sources say no Whatever, I'm really excited about this little mini crystal ball. I'm gonna put that on my desk and anytime I have a question, I'm just gonna be like, hmm, should I go Halloween decor hunting today? Outlook good, we're going, we're cruising. <laughs> Moving on to the box of magic, we've got a witch 
flying on a broom sticker. Anyhow, oh, oh, you want to put your outfit on? Okay, we'll put your outfit on here. Yeah, okay, here. Here we go. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah. Are you, is it just, did I not, oh yeah, you're gonna fall asleep. I see a pumpkin and I'm all excited. Oh my gosh, I love this. Please look, we got our very own pumpkin, look. It's our pumpkin. It says trick or treat, Jade the Libra on it. Wait, wait, there we go. With a witch flying on a broom, a custom pumpkin. Put it in the witchy forest. These gifts, let me tell you, the thought, it's the thought that goes into this that just gets me. Oven mitts, I'm so, wait, these are spooky oven mitts. Sorry, my, my camera stopped recording for some reason. I don't know what's going on with all the technologies, but I am so excited. I didn't even know they made these in the spooky prints. Um, it's like those, um, I believe these are those oven mitts where you can literally hold on to a fireball and not feel it. It's not literally, but you know, like you can hold on to some pretty hot stuff and not feel it with these kind of things, I, I believe. And they have freaking bats on them and spider webs and all of the exciting things. I didn't even know they made these in spooky prints. I'm all excited now. It's like Christmas, but Halloween. Means you want to see these? It's look, it's another pumpkin. It's a pumpkin. This one's got a spooky face on it and it says Jade in the mouth. I love this. This one says Dallas on it. Oh my gosh, we got our own couple's pumpkins. Look at us. Jade pumpkin and Dallas pumpkin. This is so cute. Oh my God, look at Dallas, look at this. It says your name in the mouth. Isn't that cute? We're so excited, thank you so much. Put these in the spooky garden uh, in front of the mantle. Okay, okay. Let's see what else we got here. Oh my gosh, look, more stickers. You guys went over the top wrapping all this stuff. It looks so good, such an aesthetic. I don't know what this is, what's this? Oh, I love this. This is amazing. It's this picture of me and it even has the warm eye shadows that I love to wear. And then it has all of our little spooky family sayings all over it. it has Dallas on there. That pothole, you know the pothole. If you know it, you know the one by at home. Yeah, that one. Halloween decor hunting dogs, yes. Branchy trees, pumpkin spice latte, moaning myrtle. Uh, it's so hot. Grab a spooky beverage, if you know, you know. Good old Mr. Skeleton. Is it fall or is it dead, game? <laughs> Baja Blast, eek eek, wasps, declutter, hey goo hey, means and Bailey. Uh, we're cruising to Joann's. <laughs> Jab in my jaws, which I'm doing right now. Halls, spooky family, sweaty chin, my pirate name, <laughs> pumpkin cream cold brew. Say hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to ya. <laughs> I love that that one is in my hat. This is so great. Thank you so much. I love, 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 love this. And I gotta know who the artist is in the family or if this is the project you're working on together. I wanna know, I wanna know. All of these gifts are so special. I'm so excited. Okay, oh my gosh, pumpkin spice. Shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. This is the Philosophy Pumpkin Icing. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, I didn't even know this existed. I'm so excited, I love philosophy stuff. Wow, this is seriously generous. You guys are spoiling me. I don't know what to do. I don't even know how to act. I'm just freaking out now. My brain is just like, ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, I'm putting this in my shower immediately. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the pump on. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pumpkin icing. Yes. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I hope you got one for yourselves. Please tell me you did because this smells so incredible. I love it. Needs is already like, she's fully moved into it. 
I think this is like her final form in this little outfit because it's so cute on her. She's just crashed out right now. Means, are you awake? No. Thank you, thank you so much, Freddie and John. The amount, like honestly, the amount of effort and thought and everything that went into this. I thought we were family before, but like you clearly know. I mean, you know, if you know, then you know. Honestly, this has been the best day of October so far. <laughs> it's November, but that's, it's, it's October, the extended version is what I'm gonna call it. But this means so much to me. I hope you had the best trip celebrating your anniversary and happy anniversary. I hope you're glowing in your shirts at Halloween Horror Nights and let me know how it was and all that. Anyways, thank you so much, Freddie and John. And you know, I'll see you in the comments. We'll be chit-chatting it up, I'm sure. Um, There's more cards to come tomorrow, but let's just open some more cards, why don't we? Okay, here's the card. Happy Halloween Vintage. Uh, it's got the cat and the witch. Love a whole vintage card situation. You guys, my heart feels like it's going to explode out of my chest because all of you, it's just like the, it's the thought that really is the most for me with all of this. All of that, like from the choices in cards to the choices in gifts, choices even from your own shops, what you're picking out to send, um, everything I feel like has thought behind it and that's what just sends it over the top for me. Like it's making my whole day. Thank you so much. Okay. Hope your Halloween is filled with over the moon fun from Scott, Sue, and Sarah. Uh, sorry this is late. I know how much you like Starbucks. By the way, it's not late because I'm late. So we're both on time is how I see it. <laughs> I absolutely love this card. And thank you so much for the Starbucks gift card. So, so, so sweet. Thank you so much. Love it. Okay, here's, this one says, Happy Halloween has a spooky Jack Lantern on it. And you know, I love that. And it says, hope it's your scary best one ever. Hey, ghoul, hey, I just want to let you know that I love your YouTube channel. Your videos make me happy. I also wanted to let you know that Dollar Tree sells $1 DVDs and even Blu-rays. Sometimes you can find some really good horror movies and some not so great ones, but still. But sometimes the not so great ones end up being the most memorable because they're like the cheesy ones, you know what I mean? What was, there was one that my friend and I watched. It was on, I think it was either on Shutter or Netflix or something. It was called Zombievers. Have you seen that one? <laughs> um, just wanted to say that I hope you have a happy Halloween. Graven, what a great name to have. I love that name. Thank you so much, Graven. I hope you had a happy Halloween. Right, here's another card. Oh my gosh. It's another spooky house situation with branchy trees, a, ha a spooky house, bats, jack-o'-lanterns. I love a good spooky house card. Okay, what is, oh, this is from a sticker company, I believe. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. It says, have a wonderfully haunted Halloween night. Uh, this says, hi Jade, I hope you enjoy these stickers I made. Love, Abel, uh, at Sticker Puss on Etsy too. P.S. You're amazing. So I will have Abel's Etsy shop down in the description box, but look at these stickers. This really super cute green haired witch. Super, wait, I'm covering the situation. Here we go. Super cute witch flying on a broom. This really cute cat. X the cat here. Really cute, magical looking cat. All right, so the next card, this is so cute. It says Spooky Nation on it. Cute little spooky stickers all over it. Excuse the neighbor dogs barking their heads off. They're having a heyday. There must be a UPS person or a mail person out there. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. If you got it, haunt it. And it's got this really pretty orange haired gal with an orange skirt on and spider webs on her skirt and uh, I'm loving the orange hair. Jade, I've only been a subscriber for a few months. Welcome to the spooky family. That gets me all excited. So I don't know your exact birthday. Uh, it's October 16th, by the way, but you're not late or uh, I'm late. You're not late. I love your channel and your hair. Happy birthday and happy Halloween. Pam. Thank you so much, Pam. I love this card. And welcome to the spooky family. Thank you so much for sending that over. I hope you had a happy Halloween. All right, next card. I'm loving all the orange. 
Uh, let's see. Needs you glowing here? You woke up. What is going on? Are you just sleeping with your eyes open again like a creep? Um, uh, oh, this one's another cute one. It says happy Halloween and it has witchy shoes and witchy socks and this jack-o'-lantern. And it says, oh, it has all this spooky confetti. And it's got this, I don't know if you can see it. I'm hoping it sticks to it. Yeah, it's got all this fun spooky confetti. And it says, hey ghoul, hey. This is your ghoul from Shady5AO. I hope your spooky season stays safe and always spooky. I'm so glad to be part of the Halloween Forever family over on Facebook. That's our Facebook group. Uh, I feel like I can be myself. I wanted to tell you I grew up not allowed to celebrate Halloween, being a Christian, and I'm so glad to be able to celebrate it now as an adult. I have a dear friend of mine who's also part of the group who's Christian as well, and we both struggle with the judgment uh, of celebrating Halloween with fellow church members. But we both agree your Facebook group and YouTube channel is a godsend for us to be ourselves and get inspired. You're awesome and beautiful, and I love all your videos. I also love your dogs. Aww. Ah, they're so adorable. Thank you so much. I hope you and your family stay safe and blessed. P.S. I'm looking for a Mr. Skeleton. Sincerely, Sarah. God bless you. Thank you so much, Sarah. Um, okay, so Mr. Skeleton, by the way, is from CVS a few years ago. And my CVS didn't get any Halloween this year. Uh, but I saw them there last year. Uh, so I'm hoping in future years they get them. And I also saw some similar ones at Home Depot and Lowe's. Also, if you have a Mr. Skeleton out there, let me know in the comments where you got your Mr. Skeleton. We can help out Sarah. I know it's November, but I'm thinking you may be able to find it on clearance, perhaps. Um, if not, then you'll know next year where to snag one. Anyways, thank you so much, Sarah, for this card. This is so perfect. I'm so glad you feel at home on the Facebook group, um, especially since you weren't able to celebrate uh, when you were a kid or in your community. So I'm so glad you found a place where you can be yourself. And I hope you had a happy Halloween and you got all decorated and did all the stuff um, and handed out candy and got some trick-or-treaters and all that. So... Um, anyways, thank you so much, Sarah. Really appreciate it. Next card. Let's dive right in. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. I love. Okay, 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 okay. I love this. You did a whole spooky season card. Tis the season. And look at you guys. Okay, first of all, your outfits are on another level. What a cute couple. Black cats prowl and pumpkins gleam. May luck be yours on Halloween. Wishing you and your family the spookiest time of all this Halloween season. Love Rob, Brittany, and Wrigley. And Wrigley has got to be this cute little cutie on the back. Let me show you, first of all, how uh, couples goals, right? Look at this outfit and the uh, scenery and the background. And it's all foggy looking on the back. Little Wrigley just wriggling around thank you for sending me one of your cards honestly i love this so much i literally feel like we're spooky family now because like you know when you get your seasonal cards you get christmas cards from family and friends and i just feel so lucky i feel so excited i'm like you sent one to me <laughs> i feel so excited thank you so much rob Brittany, and wrigley wrigley you little cutie. This is honestly making my whole day. I can't even tell you. This has just completely changed my mood. Oh, another cute vintage one. It's Halloween and it has the little kid witch with the cat and a jack-o'-lantern. Oh my gosh. I love the little vintage kids. You know what I mean? Oh, so cute. Okay, all the stickers and everything on all of these little... Oh, it's all so good. It's time for cats and pumpkins and goblins to be seen. It's also time for wishing you a happy Halloween and great birthday. Happy birthday, love, Wanda. Thank you so much, Wanda. Okay, wait, here's the little... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The witch was trying to fly out of the card, y'all. To one Libra from another Libra. Wanda the Libra, I see ya. Hi, Jade. My name is Wanda. I love your channel. I'm wishing you the best birthday. Hoping you have a lot of spooky fun. Keep doing the awesome job that you do, especially during the hunting season. Love it. Love it. I'm also Libra. Wanda the Libra. Thank you so much, Wanda. This is such a perfect card. Such a sweet note. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I love this so much. Thank you so much. This, this is all so amazing. Um, 
Anyways, okay, last card of the night and we'll finish the rest tomorrow. So if you didn't see your stuff yet, uh, then I'm gonna finish off the packages tomorrow so you can see what else we got, right? Means is still crashed out. She's having a whole moment. Oh, here's another card. I haven't seen this one before. Haunted houses, awful fright, scary stories told at night, laughing children, lots of candy, witches with their broomsticks handy. And here's what it looks like. Love this whole aesthetic on this card. I mean, come on. Bats and vampires, thrills and fear, no question, Halloween is here. Hope you have a spooky good time. Okay, and it says Jade. AKA Flemmy the Flamingo, AKA Sweaty Chin, LOL. Hey ghoul, hey, eek, 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 eek. First time sender, long time watcher. Thank you so much. Your videos have brought me so much joy, especially through your, okay, all the handwriting out here. I need to step up my game. Videos have brought me so much joy, especially through the hard times the past couple years. I work for an attorney, but my passion has always been for art. Right now, I just sell my designs as stickers, but the Bruja Blast was especially inspired by you and your decor hunting vlogs. Thank you for all the good energy you give to so many of us. Brie the Capricorn. Uh, I know you're a hard worker because you are a Capricorn. Uh, this, I saw this on the Facebook group. Brie, you're on the Facebook group, right? Because I saw this on there. I hope this is you and not somebody snatching this from you because this is such a cute, no, this has to be you because I, it has to be. Okay, this Bruja Blast sticker, we have Bree's Etsy shop down in the description, but look at this, I don't know if it's, it's gonna focus, this Bruja Blast sticker. It says Bruja Blast on it, and then it has these little bats flying up. This is the cutest sticker. And then this, oh my gosh, this art is incredible. Ink Fall Studios, um, Bree at Ink Fall Studios. I'm gonna put your information in the description because I feel like uh, the spooky family is gonna love this. Okay, here's uh, this really cool sucker, this jack-o'-lantern sucker, and it says, every day is Halloween. I feel like we all need one of these. Uh, this one here says, we're all a little haunted. This is cute, a little pastel goth look. And then this one here says, it's showtime, and it has a sandworm. Love the color aesthetic on this. Love, love, love this. Thank you so much, Brie, for the card and for the stickers. I'm so excited about the Bruja Blast. Thank you so, so much, Brie. All right, so that's it for part one of our spooky family mail. So we'll continue on to part two tomorrow. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who sent something over for my birthday or for Halloween. I truly appreciate it. I, honestly, I can't tell you how much it means to me and how much it's brightened my day and made this day so much easier. So thank you so much for being in the spooky family. I'm just so happy I get to call you family. So thank you so much. Um, anyone I mentioned who has a shop, I will put their shop down in the description box if you're looking for some little gifts for the holidays. And yeah, or just to have, to trick or treat yourself with. Anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Sorry this video is so, so late, the vlog video, but um, I just got so behind on editing and it's just the whole first week, at the end of September and beginning of October, I was already a little behind. I had basically caught up and then that first week of October just kicked my butt because of all the changes that were happening. So I'm so, so thankful to have you and thank you for being here and for supporting. Um, having you guys here, this community means so much to me. So thank you so, so much. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. You like your outfit? Oh, okay. You're gonna dig deeper into that, aren't you?